someone help me? My boy's in trouble. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a Raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Don't you tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the Raptodons, Mantisaurs and Marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Please, won't you go and find my boy? Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclasts indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Captain, let's talk. Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. Hey, it ain't easy for me to spill my guts like a cut-up wrapped, all right? I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, it's dangerous. Nothing I can't, we can't handle. I used to run with a band of hunters, friends, six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out, and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years, and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places, with the family we once were. First, we go to Hayes. I buried him a ways from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to Barry. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. <laughs> Thanks, Cap. I always wanted to visit Stellar Bay. Taking the sights. Right, here's the road. Follow it south.
Watch your feet. The sulfur pools don't just stink. They'll take a toe off. Here we go. Don't miss. But the best. That was fun!
going. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please, take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. We're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. That paper they use makes excellent kindling, you know. If they ever get more, you ought to grab some. What? Nioka? That's why you wanted so many? You said you were just spreading the word. While you keep rude company, you're welcome all the same. We're the only free people in Halcyon. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. The new boy! Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. I ought to mention, the Iconoclasts are loyal folk. Treat them right, they'll do the same. Turn on them, they'll open fire without a second thought. This place wasn't half so pretty in the cereals. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Oh, come on. We like to be friendly around here. At the least, let me call you Captain. Whether or not you command a ship, if you've found your way here, you must be a leader type. So then, Captain, welcome to Amber Heights. Oh, and uh, call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. 
I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? <sighs> You're right. I can do this. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Infamous Amber Heights. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. Tell the captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are gonna have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my tuk-tuk home safe again.
south here, off the road and down this slope. We've got a decent trek ahead of us. Edges are burnt. I guess people did this, not the wilds. ever was. He's a monarch. I want in.
out. Don't miss, but the best. for Felix.
I'd stake my reputation on this being an ambush. None of them survived. <laughs> That's what fixers call deductive reasoning. Fallbrook's on the other side of the bridge there, if you need a drink. We're only halfway to the mountain, so might consider stopping in. Look northwest. That ain't it, but marauders sometimes camp inside the buildings there. Steer clear unless you fancy getting shot. Westbound still. I'll let you know when we can start ascending.
I call this Rotting River, on account of all the dead things I've thrown in it over the years. It'll take you into the Devil's Peak Caverns if you follow it under the bridge. That's one option. Others the slope up. If you're up for some fun, let's chat. What's up? Right. We can take the caverns up, but if you ain't into spelunking, there's a path a little ways north. I don't warn you, it'll be a tough trek. Big bad's up on that hill. I'm game to hunt them if you are, but it'd be safer to stick to the caverns. back east are safest. You can head up this path if you want to shoot your way through a few nightmares on your way up. Clear the sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in peace. Looks like we're doing this! Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2. We never heard from them again. 
I think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. The queen ain't just gonna come out on her own. She'll have dug tunnels into the mountain. I've got theories about how to lure her out, but Anders would know for sure. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. I don't rightly know what happened. I should have tried to track them down back then. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying because it hurt like hell to do so. Thanks. I'm still not convinced I won't come to regret it, but we've started down this path. Might as well see it through. Maybe it'll stop me screaming at night. Now come on, let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age.
And here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Hey, you, get over here. There are marauders up ahead. I wonder if Hiram's home. <laughs> Just kidding. Guy never sets foot outside. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering. We don't take kindly to marauders. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear, but I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book. Usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. Need something? Talk to Joy. And for the love of space, don't rile the marauders. Will do, Captain. Hiram must have sealed the door. He's... he spooks easy.
not realize this, being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. <laughs> can't? We'll see about that. Right! Dance! Here's the elevator, but it ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. out there whoever you are yes yes i can see you come here and talk to me face the intercom <laughs> 